Good morning from Little Creek Bee Ranch. I wanted to do a follow-up real quick of a, a tea tree wintergreen oil recipe that some have asked about. So I wanted to, I'll, I'll match this up with another, with a pre-mix recipe so that you can understand how we're delivering. In the quart jar, uh, we'll, we'll add, right down here, we'll add about a quarter of honey. So here's how we're mixing a quarter of a quart warm honey, and then we'll add one teaspoon of wintergreen oil, two teaspoons tea tree oil, and then three drops of lemongrass oil, shake well, and then we'll pour into the half gallon jar and we'll add uh, one to one thick syrup to that. So the reason we use the quart jar first, it's just easier to handle, easier to shake, and we'll use the honey a uh, quarter of it in there and warm it and then add the oil and the honey becomes a natural emulsion it helps break up the oils and then we can top that off with just uh, regular water and we'll shake that well and from here we'll pour it into the big jug and have pre-mixed a uh, gallon jug of thick one-to-one -one sugar water to fill that up and that becomes my base mix so now from here I'll use a turkey baster. I don't know if you can see the clear marks. That blue line is an ounce and a quarter, and just above it is an ounce and a half. So what we'll do, we'll use a seal. This is a press and stick seal. It's got a hole in it now, so I'll replace it. But we'll just use a seal to put over it so we can shake it. Doesn't, nothing comes out. And we'll just suck up. Oh. I know that's a lot, but we'll drain it down until we get to that blue mark. Somewhere right about there. That's good enough for me. And then we'll go right to a jug. Whoops. It's all right. Into the jug it goes. Usually I hold my finger over the end of it. And, and then we'll get some more. This is... Uh, Great for cleaning up the bees of mites and beetles. We'll do at least uh, three rounds of this in quart jars on the porch so that we can actually see them take it down. Uh, a little bit more. Oh, I like to go a little bit over the blue line maybe. This is an ounce and a quarter. There we go. Ounce and a quarter per gallon jug. I'm kind of string it. So do it in the sink. You know, if you splash over spills, make sure you don't do doubles per jug. <laughs> it's strong mix. It's very effective at uh, knocking out mites and preventing nosema. The tea tree oil is a natural antibacterial oil and helps uh, prevent nosema. But once you got nosema, then you need to move to fumigillin B. So tea tree oil is a good preventative. It really does clean up the bees. You'll see a marked difference in the bees. They'll start this quart jar real slow, and then they'll speed up as they clean off mites. They'll speed up. Mites really, really make the colony lethargic and slow them down. Right there, that looks good. Yep. Okay. So that mark is an ounce and a quarter, and we'll just set it to the side and rinse it with soapy water. Okay, so I hope you understand what we've done. We'll match up the other old film. Quart jar, quarter honey, warmed. Add one teaspoon wintergreen oil, two teaspoons tea tree oil, three to four drops of lemongrass oil, shake well. Then you're going to add it to the quart jar. Into that, we're going to add thick one-to-one -one syrup. So all winter long, to feed to do to do 19 colonies, this will last me all the way into March. Periodically, they'll for sure get three rounds. They may get more, but for sure three rounds. And then an ounce and a quarter pork per gallon. Now you can break it down from there if you've got less colonies, but we'll run between 20 and 40 colonies. Okay, so. This is how we start, then we make our base mix, and from there we'll go an ounce and a quarter into each jug. So I, ho I hope that helps everybody. There's a the recipe again. This is uh, courtesy of uh, Ray Crocker, who has recently passed away this year. 60 years of beekeeping. So uh, to the Crocker family, thank you very much. 
Have a good day.